The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, and Newey Scruggs. It is go time here on a Wednesday. Wednesday here do, 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 do. in the Star. Welcome mm. back. The, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm back. I'm in this thing. The whole crew you know, is here. What are we? What was he? The trace, the trace, uh, Negro Amigo. What was it? How was that? <laughs> Three Amigos. Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three yeah, Amigo yeah. Negroes. Yeah, yeah, Three we're Amigo back. Negroes are, are back, back in this thing. In the building. I've been here every day. I've been here every day. I got perfect attendance, just so you know, this week. Well, for the week? Yes, perfect oh, attendance this week. week. It's only Wednesday. I mean, for the week. Man, man, <laughs> took, man took the spring off. Whole spring. You know, whole spring couple off. days here and there, sprinkled in there. On a sign. Y'all only like once a week at that time. Y'all wasn't even on every day, bro. Good, good. I'm yeah, just, well, hey, yeah. I'm just a little glad. I'm there like five shows, six shows. You know, More like 10, 12. Yeah, you know, well, you <laughs> caught up to that. All right? no, you no caught way. up to that. Ain't no Newey's way. Still every other week, so he's going to catch yeah, up yeah, eventually. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I don't want to I hear. definitely got the best attendance, though. I'm, I've been missing one. You Maybe have, one or two here you, and there. You don't have the best in-studio attendance. Because you, you will show up virtually, but you ain't the best in-studio attendance. I ain't tripping, man. <laughs> we know. You we talking about you. I'm glad you're here, man. On the side, I'm, I'm all good. It's at, <laughs> this this man had missed so much time. He's trying to make himself feel good about all that time he didn't miss. But mm-hmm. you still you still ahead of the class Without and missed doubt. attendance. But it's okay because we still love you. Mm-hmm. It is Wednesday. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, Beam, now, see, Beam, Beam is always there. There's the guy who's always here. Yes, mm-hmm. Chris Beam is always here. He is Danny McCray, the ultimate survivor. You can watch him on television tonight if you got CBS. Because Survivor 41, another another week. Mm. Danny's still up in here. He's Barry Church, the Toledo Rocket. I'm here. Yeah. We got our Team Danny merch on. Do we? <laughs> so not only is the man don't have perfect attendance, this is back to back weeks. Of my man Bear, he got the most see, you know Team what? Danny merch in this in this room, yeah, and man. don't put it on. He, here's what I'm I do got the most. You know what I mean? That got to see for something. I got a tip for you. What happened? Leave it in the car. You right about that. You told me that before, and I should I should have told him that. Leave it in the car. I should have said it. I saw him last night. But we talked about survival last night. But see, I wear the shirts more than just in the studio. That's why I gotta wash them and stuff. Yeah, I wear them out. You know, I'm out here. Listen, you don't. I don't. No evidence of that. Leave it in the car. By the way, I'm pointing to the TV. NFL Network's got Mark Andrews on. I remember talking to Mark Andrews after Texas Oklahoma game, and I said, "I think you'd fit really good with the Cowboys." He ain't want to be behind 82. They didn't. You know, ain't wanna, you know, ain't, ain't, it's but, smart. But, <laughs> smart. I, but look well, at him now. Look at him now. I mean, I was one of the, oh. you know, it's one of the few times, like, you know, I thought, like, that guy can play in his league. And, boy, he's, he's had a nice mm-hmm. career up yes, there. He and, and, he's and on my fantasy team. Man. <laughs> good player. Three I, years in a row. I, mm. I got Darren Waller, so. Well, no, it's not going to be a good week for him. You know, uh, I got Taylor out here. No, I may. I, I, I got Gronk too, so I might go okay. ahead and make that little yeah. little, little switch on that. Yeah, he might want to do that one. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I, I'm, thinking I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let me tell you something. If you have any Raiders players, do not start them this week. Why is that? I've got because them. the. Because the top ten defense that I'm seeing <laughs> is going to show up, so, and we moving up the rankings this week. Y'all right, was so 19. What was y'all what was last week? Though? Like 15 All again. Right, so, so, uh, again. <laughs> so again. I need to sit Josh Jacobs and put in Kareem Hunt then on my fantasy. That, that would probably be smart of you. Okay. You mm-hmm. you the one sent me the PFF whatever we top five defense. You saw it. Yeah. But I'm not a PFF right guy. That's that's why I'm I said, not a PFF. That's, that's why I said it too. I ain't gonna start no right. I'm not a PFF. I learned the hard way starting Matt Ryan, and that gave me five points. So I ain't, I'm out of there. He's smart. You're smart man. I'm out of there. Ah, you burnt too many times. Can't you can't do it. Stop touching the stove. Can't do it. Okay. Um, pretty funny stuff. Funny stuff here. All right. Um, the Cowboys uh, will play in this Raiders game, and, and there are a couple questions uh, for tomorrow's game that we, we, we're trying to get uh, kind of nailed down. First one, let's start with the offensive line. Tyron mm. Smith has practiced. Tyron Smith is uh, Tyron Smith's going to play. He's going to play. Okay, okay. he's going to hold Tyron down Smith. that left side. Dude. Thank Tyron Smith's goodness. Gonna play. Thank we go. you. There we go. Tyron All right. Smith's going to play, and I think uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the other side and see um, Terrence Steele at, at right tackle. 
That's what that's I what anticipate. Said? That's what I'm, I'm anticipating. I'm uh, glad, man. It, it hasn't been said yet, but I think that's the right way to go. I'm I got to. Why not? The man earned the spot. He earned it. He had his five, six weeks in there to do what he does. They went over the left tackle to see if he can perform like that, but he just didn't perform as well as he did on the right side. So I don't think he should be demoted just because he switched positions because we needed him to switch positions. And he's, I mean, then he's, if we go back to the right tackle spot, Collins, I, you know, he just can't be up in there. So to me, I think it's a good move by the Cowboys. I hope, I hope my man still have his, has his confidence. I hope he still has the, the belief that he has the freedom – to make a, a mistake or two, right? Because okay. you know what happens when you have somebody who is a possible starter behind Pressure. you. You feel like that leash is short, uh, right? Yeah, so you yeah. go out there and you're worried about – you overthinking, making a, making a bad play. Then all of a sudden, that stuff trickles down and you snowball effect and you start looking like the old Terry still. So mm-hmm. hopefully the confidence is still there. The coaches have reassured him if he's starting, that is his position. Mm-hmm. And then I, I think he'll play well. So – you then also have Connor McGovern. They started him last week. I'm anticipating Connor McGovern getting out here and playing again. Mm-hmm. And let's see what uh, you know. Let's see what they can get done. That I mean, the edges are going to be under attack this game because they got some. They got some dogs over there as far as um, edge rushers with Ngakwe and Max Crosby, both of those guys. So Colleyville's own Max yeah, Crosby, yes, indeed, so local so guy, local those, guy. So okay, edges so you, are going to be under attack. So you got you you've got that and. That is the challenge. <laughs> that is the challenge for this offensive line. Block it up and run. Run the ball. Okay. That that that's that that's that's what I'm asking for. Can you this write week. that? Can you put that in the uh, in the comment box or the complaint box, whatever it is, and just mail just that just thing on up to the to the top. See floor? what they can do with it. Huh? Goodness. What the, just, we should all mail it in. Like write like thirty of them a piece. So yeah, 90, <laughs> 90 pieces of mail that say, and all it just says run on that. Just run. <laughs> they gonna be like, what happened to the players' lounge? Why, 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 why ain't it on there though? <laughs> I remembered one time when Parcells was talking about something he was trying to get Mike Zimmer to do. Zimmer at the time was the defensive coordinator. And he said uh, to the media, at some point in time, it's not a suggestion. Listen, mm, got to do it. And that's that's what needs to happen. As Mike McCarthy is the head coach, that's what you say to the offensive coordinator. Uh, this isn't a suggestion. Is, is what he said in his press, con- press conference, uh, I think it was two days ago, where he said, hey, we – the thing that I was kind of disappointed about was we didn't establish the run. We kind of got away from the run too quickly, and we weren't able to to, to use that to help our game mm-hmm. uh, on the, in the situations that we were in. Defense was playing well. We helped them out by running the ball. Now, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he seemed like he had an issue with us not running the ball or sticking to the run long enough in order for it to become effective. Yeah, I would have to, I would have to agree with that because it wasn't like the game was just blown out of proportions. Like they were up, you know, 21 points right. and we had to go in there. We had Correct. to throw the ball. That was always within, you know, shooting range right there. You know, we were always either seven or ten points down. And I don't see that as being too big of a deficit to just go ahead and, and throw away the run game and just go straight to the to the pass game. But I, maybe they just thought, you know, they had more momentum with the pass game. The, the game was swaying here and there. Maybe they thought the pass would be able to get them further down the field. But the, to me, I think you got to establish with, that run. With, with Wilson and Brown out there dropping everything. Yeah, they, was, Come they on, had man. them butterfingers. Wait, listen, listen, take the pressure off of those guys, man. It's You have to be able to adjust. I'm no offensive coordinator, so you need to be able to adjust, mm-hmm. right? If they take away one thing or one thing isn't working, you have to be able to lean on something else. You can't just keep on throwing stuff at the wall, man, <laughs> hoping it's thick. Like, bro, we. We've seen this story already. Mm-hmm. We saw this against Denver. We saw it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got, got away from the run. Now, we did get those two trash touchdowns at the end, but they stifled us, and we had nothing else to lean on. And that is that has been an obvious problem for us in, in these games where we that we've lost. The Cowboys had 16 rushing attempts for 82 yards. Not enough. That's, that's unacceptable. Clyde Edwards-Alaire had 12 by himself for Kansas City. Kansas City had 26, and that's just not what they do. No. Nah. 26 rushes by Kansas City. I, I don't know how what, what high that is, but it's probably top three in rushing attempts for them this year. <laughs> so that's a game plan that I find unacceptable in terms of 16 rushing attempts, 43 passes. You split between. And that split between Tony Pollard, Dak, and, uh, <laughs> and Zeke. Zeke, nine carries. I mean, we've seen when this, when this offense is at its peak power. At Smoothie King, we are blending goodness to fuel your greatness. Every blend is crafted to help you achieve your health I mean, and He's fitness. not going to hit you with the 20 to 30 yard big gains anymore, but he's still going to be able to wear a defense down. Okay. Three yards in a cloud of dust here, five yards there, four yards here. And we've seen so far this season when that happens, in the fourth quarter, defenses are shying away. They want no parts of Zeke out there. So 
I think as a whole, we just I mean we we agree on this one. We we abandoned the run too far or too soon, and hopefully we can get back to that balanced approach when we go into the Raiders did, uh, on Thursday. Did, so Zeke had nine rushes and six catches. Like it, it should not yeah, be even. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. should not be that close for a for a for the style of running back that Ezekiel yeah. Elliott is. Right? It should not be that close. It should be somewhere like twenty and five. Without a doubt, twenty and five, and those five should be screens and a couple <laughs> flat routes. Did we, see, did we have? I don't even think we did. We throw a lot of screens. I saw one screen where it was a miscommunication where he was supposed to to be getting the screen, mm. and it, it just kind of didn't work oh, no, out. I know why, because of those early little bubble screens, and uh, the one Schultz didn't block anybody. Yeah. Got my man dumped on his head, <laughs> and I think it was another somebody else ended up not blocking at all. So that's why we probably. But, but, how, but how but how does that work for you when the team knows you're going to throw or run a screen? Like, yeah. you're not running the ball. <laughs> so, yeah, look, look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's so, it. It ain't going nowhere yeah. with, the, with the game plan they got going. So, it, it just it, – I don't think it's conducive for success for us. Yeah. So, offensive line with an opportunity to establish the run and, and, and get that Kansas City loss behind them. Also, another reason to run the football is your questions at wide receiver. Amari mm-hmm. Cooper is not going to play in this game because of COVID. And C.D. Lamb – is still technically in concussion protocol. So in order for him to play, he's got to be cleared by an independent doctor to play in this football game. So you could be, could be Mm -hmm. without Cooper and Lamb. That means you need to run football. You got to. You need to be running football. You gave him 90 mil for a reason. You know, go ahead. You got to lean on him. Depend on your defense and run the ball. Have confidence in your defense. We talked about this the other day. When you watched that Kansas City game, it seemed like the offense – Whoever was calling the plays or the the game plan throughout the game didn't have confidence that the defense was going to continue to stop Patrick Mahomes in that offense. It was like they were playing pressing, like, hey, man, this is probably the last stop our defense is going to get. We got to go out there and score a touchdown because if we don't, they're going to blow uh, blow this game wide open. And that just wasn't the case. So have confidence in your defense. Lean on the running game. And then and, and let that let that play together. You might get some plays with special teams. We've been blocking punts like crazy. Mike almost had him one <laughs> so, last So week. you have a chance yeah. no matter what. So just stick to you stick to your game plan. Your thoughts on Michael Irvin, who went off on Amari Cooper for not being vaccinated, and then you had Jerry Jones on his own show saying, "Hey, uh, that popped us. That popped yeah. us." But basically, we this was something we, we we were not expecting here. The Teammates in the locker room have publicly supported Amari Cooper's decision along with the head coach. Totally understand it. I think mm-hmm. that's the way to go. You got it to it. Yeah. But Jerry and Michael Irvin, not happy with Cooper. Your thoughts? Yeah, listen. <laughs> it's, I think I think it's a tough thing, but you, I, I look at it and say, what else are the players going to do, right? Yeah. You, you, like, you got to stick together. It's, it's, it's those guys in the locker room, and they try to block out all the outside noise. But I do believe that there are some people in there like, man, like I, I wish, I, yeah. I wish that he would be vaccinated so we wouldn't be missing, uh, missing him uh, for this extended period of time. But on the other hand, you, you know, everybody's saying that you know it's his decision. The yeah. thing is, they knew he was unvaccinated and he's still the been here time, and, yeah. <laughs> in the roster. So that's something that is unexpected as it is. Should have been expected at some point in time. They're, like there, there is a possibility that this could come up. Not just now. But also, it could come up again. Yeah, playoff so, time. Yeah, so don't be surprised with this. All right, so you you should be planning accordingly yeah. for any of the players that you have that are unvaccinated to know that we should have a backup plan ready because we have no idea when they may miss extended time. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely understand. Like you said, the players they're gonna have their, their you know their brothers back. They're gonna say all the supporting things they need. And like you said, a probably of them come back in their mind like, man, I wish we had Coop for this game. But it's his personal decision, and um, you know he has all right to have that personal decision. And and I understand on. The other side with, with Jerry Jones, you know, why him why him being so upset. We know how he how bad he wants that next Super Bowl ring. He wants it. It's so bad. He wants it. He can taste it. And for he and he also sees how this how different this offense is without Amari Cooper. Whether it's out him out there catching a bunch of passes, getting touchdowns, or him being just that guy that's taking up all the coverage and he's letting C D Lamb and letting um I said Wilson and all those other guys eat. He sees a difference when he's in and out. And he, he says and he popped us. It, it popped us because he was like, man, we're right there. We're on the cusp of taking this whole thing and maybe even getting that number one spot. And then, boom, we had a guy get COVID and he's going to miss this game, but he's going to miss the next game because he wasn't vaccinated. And we know how the protocols go and all that. So I understand why Jerry's upset. But at the end of the day, it's Amari Cooper's personal decision. And that's how they got to live I, with I it. I remember you bringing up a return on investment. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, uh, yeah. The ROI. I mean, let me tell you something. <laughs> ROI on a couple of these guys that, that have been on the roster. Your ROI on Aleo Collins. The ROI on uh, Jalen Smith. And then the, your ROI on Amari oh, no, <laughs> uh, Cooper uh, now. Jalen Smith is called sunken calls. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sunken calls. 
cost now. Sunken yeah. cost. It's sunken cost now. But that I'm just like, sunken like these guys are getting paid. These are some of your high paid players. Yeah. Who now who <laughs> stay on point in what you just said, and this is what Michael Irvin had said to TMZ. He said, "Quote: I don't know what word to put on it, but I'm absolutely hot about it. Are you joking? I got a guy named Cedric Wilson catching passes who makes two million. A guy named Noah Brown who makes one million. And I got a guy who makes twenty-one million on the bench at home, not playing. It's crazy. That's Michael Irvin and how he felt about Amari Cooper not playing. He also said, our job as athletes is to try to remove any reason for not winning the Super Bowl. It's why I condition. So fatigue isn't the reason that I lose the Super Bowl. It's why I go over plays a million times so that a mistake is not the reason why I lose the Super Bowl. You have to try to mitigate any issues that cost you a game or a Super Bowl, and COVID is one of them. You go get vaccinated to try to mitigate it as best you can. Now, you can still get it after you get vaccinated, but it's a different percentage of you uh, percentage chance of you getting it. All I need you to do is get that different percentage chance. So I'm hot for Amari Cooper not doing that. This is Michael Irvin in his mm-hmm. comments on it. All right. Uh, Jerry Jones said, Amari Cooper is outstanding. He's one of the highest character guys that you will ever be around in any arena. He's outstanding in his introspect and how he does things. Nobody is saying he isn't outstanding, but this is a classic case of how it can impact a team. At the end of the day, this is a team. You cannot win anything individually. The point is, it popped us. This did pop us. Mm. That's the quotes for that. It mm. may not be the last time you get popped. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what just happened in yeah, playoff just, time? Just being real, I mean, if you look around, uh, watching watching any news about COVID and you seeing the, the, the cases rising during mm-hmm. wintertime, I well, mean, it, it's not going away anytime soon. Nah. Lamar Jackson got it twice. Yeah. Lamar Jackson got it twice. C- case in point, and, and you're, what you're saying here is, is something to take very seriously. Okay, you're talking about wintertime cases going up. Well, when's the Super Bowl? When are the playoffs? Yeah, yeah. January, February. Mm-hmm. So th- this is this is a, an issue. And so we talked about it yesterday when you were out. And I said, if I'm uh, the next question, I'd love to ask Jerry Jones: Have you had the conversation with Amari Cooper or any other player on your team that's not vaccinated about reconsidering their stance? Mm. <sighs> that's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. Because that's a, that's a slippery. That's a slippery if I slope. Own, if I own the football team, yeah. And you weren't vaccinated, Barry, and you you missed a game. I go ask it. Yeah. Same thing, Danny. Hey, have you reconsidered it? Because, and, and as Jerry talked about on 105.3 The Fan, the league made it punitive. They're trying to make it hard. Mm-hmm. If you don't get, it. hey, you're gonna miss some time. Yeah, you're gonna miss it. some time here. So. Shout out to Michael Gallup, man. Very important these days, huh? Yeah. Got him on fantasy. <laughs> very, very, so, uh, actually, right. very, very important these days. Uh, Chris Bean, well, he was producer on it today. Chris mm-hmm. Bean says he's got the quote from Jerry here. So, so let's hear Jerry on 105.3 The Fan. Uh, this was with Sean and RJ talking about on Amari Cooper. Again, I said it early. You check me at the door uh, in a football team. Uh, that has nothing to do with the issues of masking, not masking, getting vaccinated, not getting vaccinated. And if I have a tone, I shouldn't. It just has nothing to do with it. The facts are it is a we thing when you walk into uh, the locker room. And anybody is being counted on to uh, pull his weight. Everybody expects that. They look around at each other. They understand everybody's rights. They do. We do. Everybody understands our rights and our options as it pertains to those rights. But can you, uh, uh, if you forget that it's a we thing and how important your part is, uh, obviously these guys are are rewarded. They're rewarded financially. Now, Mark Cooper is outstanding, folks. He's one of the highest character guys that you will ever be around in any area. And he's outstanding in his in my in his introspect and and how he does things. He uh, had, when he was at uh, uh, the Raiders for a year or two, he set up a library for the players to uh, uh, read during their breaks, which they have. So my point is, he's an outstanding, and we're not in any way. Nobody's saying that he isn't outstanding, but this is a classic case of how it can impact a team. When people are, at the end of the day, this is not individual, it is team. You cannot win anything individually. It's really clear. He's, 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 he's upset. No, he's not happy. Yeah. He's not happy. And it's two games mm. because of the short because week. Because of the short week, yeah. And 
Now you got Lamb, who and you guys have played. You two played the game. Your safeties for the Dallas Cowboys. It's concussion, man. I can't see him getting because because you, like you just said, he, he has to get passed by an independent doctor, right? Mm-hmm. So if that independent doctor passes him and something happens to him in the game. Is it on that specific doctor that he said it's okay for that guy to go in, or is it just? I, I well, you know, I think the severity of of what happened because did he get the concussion when he when hit he the fell ground? Back and right. Hit his head, yep. I, I think the severity of his must be light, the fact that he was at practice on Monday, because mm-hmm. usually they try to keep you out of out of the lights light because it kind of affects you. So if he's not having any of those residual effects of the concussion, then I'm assuming, mm-hmm. uh, you know, with how stringent they've been on concussions, that that he must. Be okay to, to move forward. Um, we'll see. I, yeah, I, I, I think it's pretty quick, um, yeah, but pretty I, I also don't know if he was just pulled out of the game uh, for precautionary reasons or Could if he case. couldn't recite ABC, you know, in one, two, three. Looks like if, Jamar was helping him off the field yeah, almost. Yeah. I mean, I, mm. hey, let's let's. I'm no a, trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. This let's true. hit a break here. Um, we'll see how this this situation transpires, but but let's let's keep an eye out on it here. Cowboys have had issues in their last two Thanksgiving Day games. We will dive into that. We'll have got our predictions to make and also talk about who's going home on tonight's Survivor, which mm. will star our Hope very own Hope Danny you. McCray. Hope it ain't you. This is the Players Lounge brought to you by Hotels.com. Barry Church, Danny McCray, New East Scruggs right here on DallasCowboys.com radio. At Smoothie King, we are blending goodness to fuel your greatness. Every blend is crafted to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. Smoothie King uses only whole fruits and organic veggies. You'll never find sugary syrups or artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And unlike some other smoothie places, there are zero grams of added sugar in many of our blends. Smoothie King is proud to be the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Place your order in the app or online for pickup or delivery. Smoothie King, rule the day. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now, the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm a broken traffic light. Stop and go is the name of my game. It's easy. You go, they go. What was it? They go, you go. (laughs) And if you have the wrong car insurance, these repair costs could stop you in your tracks. So get Allstate's new low auto rate and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Not available in every state, based on coverage and limits selected. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Brace yourself for an existential question. Has your butt been having enough fun lately? Have you been treating it well? Has it been going places? If not, then it's about time you start using SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best way to get your butt tickets to live events. Just ask the thousands of other butts who have rated it the number one ticketing app. So what are you waiting for? Download the app now or visit SeatGeek.com to get tickets to sports, concerts, and live events and make your butt happy. SeatGeek, get your seat in a seat. Back to the Players' Lounge. Your favorite WWE superstars return to AT&T Stadium for WrestleMania on Saturday, April 2nd and Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours before they sell out. Visit SeatGeek.com, the official ticket provider of AT&T Stadium. You're in the Players' Lounge, brought to you by Hotels.com. Newey Scruggs, joined by two former Dallas Cowboys safeties, the Toledo Rocket himself, Barry yes, Church, mm-hmm. and the ultimate survivor, Danny McCray. Mm. Some NFL power rankings are uh, out here this week. NFL.com has Dallas at five. ESPN has Dallas at five. My man Rick Gosselin over at uh, Maven and Sports Illustrated has Dallas eight. Ah, yeah. Eight? He went Arizona, Tampa, Green Bay, L.A. Rams, Tennessee, Baltimore, Kansas City. Then he went with the Cowboys. Didn't Tennessee just get smacked up by uh, who they who they? Yeah, but they were rolling though. Oh, yeah, they, they, they had was, what, six they, straight? They was rolling. They lost in a, it was a division game. It was the Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah, they lost in a division game. Yeah. Tyrod Taylor came back. They, they, You know, it was one of the things where you like. Tannehill threw four picks. Because don't, don't, don't. There, there is the problem. But the Texas defense has been playing well over the last few weeks. I don't believe the quarterback. Tannehill? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, He's a product I don't of the run game? 
Yes. Yeah. Without D. Henry, I mean, because it, it does a lot when you can just fake that, fake that dive, because you know the whole defense is going to try to get Henry before he gets started. It does a lot for you. So let's do this. So, so two out of the last three weeks, they've had huge wins because they won without Derrick Henry, and two out of the last three weeks, we have horrible losses. So I can understand why Tennessee would be ahead of us okay. at, at this at this point in time. At this juncture, uh, right. like I said, they ran into like Tyrod Taylor and them. We were surprised at how well they were playing before he got hurt okay, at, yeah. at, at the beginning of the season. Brandon Cooks was out there going crazy. Tyrod Taylor was playing well at quarterback as he always does when he steps in in that mm-hmm. role and they ran to Tennessee and Tennessee thought it was going to be a cakewalk. Yeah, they, were, they were sleeping. They didn't pull the Broncos on I remember on diving a, like any given Sunday over the goal line. <laughs> said, look at him. Okay, Tyrod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, Justin for Ahmaud Aubrey today, man. On the play oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to show some love without to Ahmaud Aubrey and, and, and praying for his family because that's a tough situation. But there was a guilty verdict today, so shout out to that. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought Emmanuel Acho said something that was pretty, pretty interesting. He said it's accountability, but not justice because – you know, this man's life will never be restored. There's just so many things that have happened in this that is there really justice when when this happens? And and you say guilty verdict, and, and I have gotten to the point where, Danny, I don't celebrate guilty verdicts. I look at what what's the sentencing mm. because we've seen a whole lot of folks get light sentences. Got to start somewhere, though, because yeah. we've seen a lot of not guilty verdicts. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, you, you got you to gotta start somewhere. I'm going to celebrate just that one piece until we get to the next one. And then if I got to be upset about it, I will. But as of today. <laughs> they were found guilty of all charges, right? Yes. All charges, okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, really? How? I mean, that how did the self defense work? Even well, even yeah, the, ca- even the man ca- was jogging. Even man. the cameraman, but I think they were talking about in the state of Georgia. Mm. Everybody that is involved. <laughs> no, if you was driving, <laughs> if you was riding, if you was recording, you are an accomplice as well. Mm. So you will be charged as the other ones will, and all three of them got all all, all the same charges. The saddest part for me <laughs> is I used to live out there in that city in that Br- Brunswick, Brunswick Brunswick is part of you know, that whole Savannah Georgia region mm-hmm. over there Brunswick so I've been in Brunswick you know many a time and that that you see something like that it just shakes you and it was just about 2 years ago I went back there mm. I had to um, I was doing something for Pembroke Peachville Conference okay. right. and 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 I had my dad my mom and dad met me and my dad was stationed at Hunt Army Airfield in, in Savannah, Georgia and I and I wanted him to take me back on I can't go on an, on a military base um, I have to have him because he still has a military ID, so mm-hmm. I have to go with him. So went down there, just drove around, you know, the city and the area. Just wanted to reminisce, having grown up down there for for four years. And when I saw that, it just it just hit me. Like you know, you you lived in an area, you lived in this area. That makes it scary. Could be you. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody decides one day that they just think you're a suspect or something. That 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 part of it just hits you. Like you know, that could. Mm-hmm. First of all, people don't realize they, they can say whatever they want to. As as a black man, <laughs> when 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 I saw that happen, even though I knew I was staying in Frisco, Texas, yeah. and I was, it was COVID, I was jogging around at the time, and it was still in the back of your mind. Like you were like, uh, all of a sudden, this became something that could possibly happen yeah. to you. So I'm like, run, I'm jogging, like man, I don't, I don't know what's about to happen. You, you know, know. so it, 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 it can affect you. Mm-hmm. Right, it, it can affect you. So that, that that's rough. Mm. Cowboys have lost their last two Thanksgiving Day games. You guys have played in Thanksgiving. How do you make sure you get this game? Because you've got the advantage because you're at home. You're at home. You don't have to travel. Your crowd is going to be behind you. This is an event game for the Cowboys. Fans are coming out there. I I bought five tickets. I'm going out here taking the family to the game. So, I mean, this is an event. How do you make sure this is not – a loss, and in fact, not back-to-back losses. If you're the Cowboys, first of all, you got to come in here with, with, with the right mindset, all right? Because uh, you know, I think it's two weeks we, when we played Denver, we slept walking here. Yeah. Okay. We came out last week, and it, it ain't no sleep, sleepwalking. We got outplayed. So you need to come in here with the mindset of taking this opponent seriously and knowing that this is a game that you need to win. Playing as a complete team, offensive coordinator. Knowing your game plan, mm-hmm. knowing what you have and don't have on offense with your offensive line and your and your receivers, lean on the run game and let everything else work off of that. Defense, come out here and play like you've been playing. Continue mm-hmm. to get better, but keep bringing the heat. 
Michael Parsons, do what you do. DBs, try to go out there and get some uh, get some takeaways. Don't press, but make sure that you go out there and play the game that you know you can play, and you'll be okay. It's, it's simple. It's simple to win. It. Feed Zeke and feed <laughs> Tony Pollard. I mean, that's what we got to do. We like you just said, we're out. Um, Amari Cooper, we may be without Lamb. I know Gallup's a hell of a player, but I don't think he could do it by himself. And then you guys said Wilson, Noah Brown, and those people. But we have got to lean on this running game. We know when, like I said earlier, when this offense is at its best, we're extremely balanced. So Kellen Moore, I mean we we know he's been in his bag lately, but these past two games have been a little shaky. Feed Zeke. Keep it going. Let this defense rest a little bit and then they come back and they can do what they do. But Dan Quinn and this defense on that side of the ball, they got to continue to find ways to make get pressure back there. I mean he, he's done an amazing job of doing it without his two top dogs, Lawrence and Gregory out there. But he has to make sure we continue to get after the quarterback because that's making the secondary job a lot easier, and that's how we're getting these takeaways. So if we can do that, and if uh, Kellen Moore can go ahead and just feed Zeke, <laughs> I think we should go ahead and wipe, uh, the, wipe the Raiders out. Because, I mean, if we're full healthy, our talent alone should be able to overmatch um, the Raiders out there. This team is in free fall right now. This team is in, in, in utter free fall with all the stuff that's going on over there. They're in utter free fall. So feed Zeke, get this game knocked out quickly. Well, what, what scares me about this Kellen Moore situation is – the game plans so far this season, we've been able to be talked out of running the ball. Like, yeah, we went in the Bay. Tampa game yeah. of, like, they talked us out of it based off what they did last year. Yeah. All right? I so, I, I, like, I feel like defensive coordinators are able to say, oh, you know, if we don't want them to run it, mm -hmm. this is how we have to line up. And I hope that that doesn't make us start throwing all those quick screens and the extended running yeah. game like college where you got guys uh, catching bubble screens every every other play. Run the ball. Traditional run. Don't let them get you out of there. If it's eight in the box, yeah. man on man, see, <laughs> see, see what you got, all right? Do you think there should be, you know, more forced run calls instead of, you know, Dak at the line of scrimmage being able to check out of yes. the run to the pass, so make sure there's more forced ball to Zeke. There's no, there's yes, no because, audible no matter because, what the look. Because the defensive coordinators are going to give you the look to make you check into what they want. That mm -hmm. that is that is I told that's what Rob Ryan used to do with yeah. us, right? We used to have automatic <laughs> formation check, right? Because we knew it. we lined up in one thing, they were going to motion out to something mm -hmm. else, and we had that specific call for that specific offense, yeah. right? So yes, they're going to line up, they're going to bring eight in the box, and they're going to say, oh, they're going to watch the L. Yeah, he's going to check out of this, and it's usually going to be whatever route, and then we're be stuck in that all game. Mm -hmm. Let's not do that. As we are doing this uh, podcast right now, they've got the Chiefs Cowboys game <laughs> airing on <laughs> NFL Network right, right here. I, I've got a pretty interesting statistic that I want to get to you about Dak Prescott here, and we need to make our predictions for this okay. game. And there is an injury that we need to talk about with uh, one of the uh, important players for the Dallas Cowboys. So let's d dive into that next with Danny McRae, Barry Church, New East Coast. This is a player's lounge brought to you by Hotels.com on DallasCowboys.com radio. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm a broken traffic light. Stop and go is the name of my game. It's easy. You go, they go. What was it? They go, you go. <laughs> And if you have the wrong car insurance, these repair costs could stop you in your tracks. So get Allstate's new low auto rate and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Not available in every state, based on coverage and limits selected. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com. Proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. At Smoothie King, we are blending goodness to fuel your greatness. Every blend is crafted to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. Smoothie King uses only whole fruits and organic veggies. You'll never find sugary syrups or artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And unlike some other smoothie places, there are zero grams of added sugar in many of our blends. Smoothie King is proud to be the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Place your order in the app or online for pickup or delivery. Delivery. Smoothie King, rule the day. At AT&T, everyone, new and existing customers, get our best deals on every smartphone. Why? Because you deserve it. For turning your living room into your office and your gym. For teaching grandma how to video call. And teaching her again. It's the button on your left, Nana. Okay, your other left. It's not complicated. Everyone deserves something new. So AT&T has given everyone, new and existing customers, our best deals with every unlimited plan on every smartphone, even the latest ones. AT&T may temporarily slow data speeds if the network is busy. Restrictions and exceptions may apply. Back, Back 
to the Players' Lounge. Rowdy's holiday deliveries are now available. Spread joy this holiday season with surprises and exclusive gifts from your favorite mascot. Book your holiday delivery today at DallasCowboys.com slash Rowdy. Here's a question I have. And Danny, you work here for the team. And you know the answer. We're trying to get a, a, a holiday delivery done here in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's a huge place, man. Mm-hmm. Big time Metroplex. How many Rowdies are there? I one. How about that? I, one. I, I it? Ain't, ain't no, no way. way. <laughs> hey, I done seen on, Rowdy man. in Frisco. I done seen him at the same time in Plano somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's only listen. It's only one Santa Claus. It's only one Rowdy. Okay, so that's it. Right, that's, that's it. it. You, you know, Santa Claus somehow yeah. visits everybody's house mm. on you know Christmas man. night. There's a. Mm. They got time to eat cookies and drink milk. At he all he them, believes okay? in himself. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Rowdy's one Rowdy. I'll tell you what. If I'm Jerry Jones, you know what I'm doing. There's a Dallas County Rowdy. There's a Holly County Rowdy. There's a Tarrant County. Rowdy. Rowdy. There's a Parker County Rowdy. Hey, Rowdy, Rowdy about to make all these trips. I'm about to make all mm, this money. He mm. about to spoil the whole Rowdy experience for mm. all the kids who Rowdy. want to see. The, it's just one of them, okay? He's just one Rowdy, guy. Rowdy is not a double booker. Okay? Yes, Rowdy's a guy. He's just, just, Rowdy, he's he's just one guy. Okay, well, he's just I'm one guy. Yeah. He's actually I'm Rowdy. You, if, if I'm a, you know what? Let me get up here and start running some things with the Cowboys. I'm like, Jerry, Jerry, I got an idea. Jerry, I'm about to I'm about to give you a return on investment. I got five Rowdies and Rowdy. Rowdy in, every county. Exactly. <laughs> Rowdy in every county. And so what we're going to do is stack these things. So Dallas County Rowdy will operate at 1. Tarrant County Rowdy will operate at 140. So we'll make sure we stagger these things. But doggone it, I'm about, I'm about to bring some. Hey. <laughs> now, I don't know what Rowdy costs, but I'm telling you right now, that's what I would do. That's mm, what I do. You mm, put me in charge mm, of some mm. business aspects with Jerry. We, okay, man, we go. Kids go, I want the Just, original Rowdy. It's crazy that Dewey think uh, Jerry ain't thought of this already. Yeah, <laughs> but there's only one Rowdy, Dewey. <laughs> there's, only, there's only one Rowdy, bro. <laughs> How, how Book much? the one Rowdy. Mm-hmm. That's a smart idea, though. Yeah. That's a smart idea, man. I got, I got Rowdy. Maximize Rowdy, man. <laughs> how much for Nui to play I'm gonna Rowdy say this one again. game? Never. I'm going to say this you again. You want to play Rowdy? Can we you, fund it? Never. We you get are it crazy to think that Jerry Jones has not thought of this idea already. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and, see, and see, here immediately is my thought. People are booking these things. It, it, it takes forever and a day sometimes yeah. to get, get across – this Especially large metroplex, time. man. On the amount of time, too. What time it is, it depends. Just saying, man. You know, I can't would... believe y'all not reading into this, but that's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> can't believe mm, that y'all mm, is mm. going over y'all head like that. Mm. Uh, Donovan Wilson is on injured reserve, going to mix the next three games. Your thoughts on the Cowboys' safety there, John? Uh, you know. You know, it sucks for for him personally, but um, you know, I don't think it's that huge of a loss. I mean, I, you know, he was he was he was rotating in there as well. It was KZ and uh, Curse, the main two in mm-hmm. there. So, you know, hopefully he gets back, gets healthy, and uh, you know, he gets back on the field. But I don't see it being that huge of a loss. Yeah, uh, it, it's tough for him. We we would really like to have depth uh, depth at the position because you never know what's going to happen in the game. But I feel comfortable with the guys that we that we have left that mm-hmm. we have on the roster. Uh, they've all been playing well, including Donovan Wilson. So uh, I, I think whoever's in the game is going to play well. Is Darian Thompson still? Uh, he, is he still uh, on the roster? <laughs> yes, I think he's on the practice he's, squad. He's on the oh, he's on the practice squad? Okay. So, he, yeah, he's still, he's still he a cowboy. Depth. Yeah, he's, he's depth still a cowboy. There. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Brother man, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep rolling. Do your thing. Uh, we need to get into the predictions, gentlemen. Okay. Cowboys, Raiders. Raiders are a seven and a half point dog mm. coming here to AT&T Stadium. It is the third, I should say, the second of three Thanksgiving Day games. Always a secondary slot for the Cowboys. 325 is, is that time, man. I think it's the perfect time uh, for, for Thanksgiving. Not for me. Because <laughs> you got to work. You have been working. Okay, if you I doing, want that twelve. Oh, you want that? That, that the, this. I think it, the lines in the eleven. I think it's early. Eleven. Yeah, I take like, that. Yeah, like, yeah, so I take that. Get back. Three o'clock slot. Well, you, you don't get to the cribs. I'm off nine. Well, you get the pick first. Uh, winner, winner of the week. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, this, this Raiders and this, this Cowboys game. You said they're seven and a half dogs. Seven and a half, seven man. Seven and a half dogs, man. I, this Raiders team is in free fall. So off the rip, I'm going to say the Cowboys are going to get the dub. Off the rip. It may be a tad bit closer than uh, than uh, most people think. Because okay. I think, I don't know, Josh Jacobs, he's healthy, right? Yes. He's healthy for the most part. All right. And they got some weapons out there. But I'm going to say Cowboys win 31-21. I'm a 10-point dub. 
Okay. All right. Because I got 27 20 Cowboys. 27 I think okay. this is going to be a stellar defensive performance. Mm. I think we're going to continue to rise, rise up. I think we're going to run the ball really, really well. Um, yeah, and I see us not covering, but yeah, set, seven Waller. point win. Hmm? You putting curse on Waller? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> why, uh, Tra- you, why you say it like I that? I mean, because Tra- 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 because we've seen Trayvon Diggs cover Pitts, we've seen Trayvon Diggs cover Kelsey, mm-hmm. so I, I think we're going to continue to see Trayvon Diggs be the if main guy out. who's covering. If he's you talking about if uh, if you run a cover one, I believe that Trayvon Diggs will be covering their even if their number the one option, even if he's attached to the line. No, 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 no. He's saying if he's split yeah, out, yeah, I got yeah, you, I got yeah. you. It, it split out at any point. At you any point, point if he's two yards attached and we're in cover one, I believe that Trayvon Diggs is going to be on him. But yeah, if they if they're running some. Something where yeah, it's twelve, <laughs> like twenty one person. <laughs> got that boy fitting in the run gaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, nah, he don't nah, want no nah, piece nah. of that. He don't so want yeah, no I got a seven, seven point win for the Cowboys. Twenty seven twenty. Thirty four seventeen. Cowboys Ooh. win. Uh, the Cowboys try to get get rid of this bad taste. Um, Tyron Smith comes back here and allows the offense to do do the things that they want to do. I think the offensive line rebounds from this performance, especially against what they saw against the Kansas City Chiefs. I just think the Raiders have so many issues going on right now that I just I think it's going to be hard for them to win. Um, shout out to our guy Rich Basaccia, about to say Rich, yeah. who who we think is a phenomenal human being as well as being an excellent mm-hmm. NFL coach. He's just been put in a horrible situation, yeah. man. Horrible yeah. situation. But I just think that the Cowboys respond. They've always responded pretty well here. This is something that I got from Rick Goslin, which I found pretty interesting about Dak Prescott. And he writes, Dak Prescott has played 81 NFL career games. He has not committed a turnover in 36 of his starts, and the Cowboys have won 29 of them. Prescott has committed at least one turnover in another 45 starts, and the Cowboys have a 21-24 and 24 record in them. Mm. Prescott just suffered his fourth three turnover game of his career in last weekend's loss to the Chiefs. So mm. it's pretty easy. Yeah, don't turn the ball over. Uh, you turn that ball over, well, since you we said, in trouble. Since you said that, I think I saw a stat that said we're like fourteen and fifteen when Tyron Smith doesn't play. I mean, mm. so it's, it's, it's pretty on, on point with Dak Prescott in the turnovers. So, 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 so still the most important piece of this team so, is Ty Smith. So, <laughs> so, I mean, you need the guy in the game, bro. I mean, 29 games, 14, 15 of them you lost. Mm. He didn't play in. And, and look, I, I, um, I, I go back into this. And, and to me, I think it's really, really simple. You got an all-decade left tackle. What quarterback is not going to – have some some security when you've got you know an outstanding player like that mm-hmm. out there. I think any to any anybody is going to be affected, and at times I think we can forget because you've seen Tyron play so well for so long, just how good this guy is. And Terrence Steele is a guy who'd start for basically any other NFL team. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Lel Collins, but they're not that guy. That guy is that good, and because he can handle. His matchups, it allows you to do other things. Yeah, buys more time for the receivers to get open. Buys for more time for Dak to do what he got to do. But let me ask you a quick question. If uh, McGovern, let's say he struggles again this game, do we think about putting in uh, Collins at that left guard spot? Or we just, just got to ride with him now? It just doesn't look like they're open to put my man in there at the guard position. I, like, So I'm, I'm not sure. Because you can't go back to Connor Williams, right? Or, or, I mean, you or can. can. Or you can, can go, go back. back. Okay. You can go back. One can be worse. You can, you can play worse yeah. <laughs> than, than Connor Williams. Okay, yeah. he got penalties and stuff, but you you can you can get beat like a drum and be like, man, look, hey, there's nothing we can do because that's the quickest path to the quarterback. Yeah, right up the gun. And it ain't like they got Travis Frederick there. You know, yeah. They got Beatrice, who's also yeah. a, little, a little shaky on the interior. Who I saw was like up in the top uh, for the rankings of a fan voting Who? <laughs> for the Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. <laughs> Who? Tyler <Beattish. laughs> It was How? Tra- it was How, like, Sway? It was, it was Trayvon Diggs, Zach Martin, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott, and Biotis. Yeah. That's easy. So when the Cubs are winning, a lot of people for, in baseball for the All-Star game vote Cubs or they vote Yankees. And so here uh, the Cowboys are winning. You should never be surprised that Dallas Cowboys players are going to be voted there. I mean, mm-hmm. it Travis Frederick had it. You know, people were voting for him. It's 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 your favorite. It's it's the most popular team in the country. They're winning. You got a ballot, and you just start checking out. You see us having a lot of Pro Bowlers. And now, and let's be honest, okay? How many fans know who centers are? Mm. Not a lot. You know, I ain't gonna say I don't even. I know. mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> right Travis now, Frederick, that's right it. now in the division, can you name another center in the division? Kelsey, but that's just because his face is all over, you know, and his, Philly. And, yeah. and, and because of his brother. Yeah. Right, right, so him. That's it. But 
Yeah, who's the center for the Giants? I is, have no is, idea. Is Amari Cooper or um, C.D. Lamb going to the Pro Bowl this season? No, but maybe C.D. Maybe C.D. Maybe, you know, C. maybe C.D. But I, I think no, I don't think uh, Amari. I mean, he's putting up decent numbers, but I don't know. I mean, there's just so many other receivers out there that are balling right now. Is Zeke going to the Pro Bowl this year? Nah, not splitting carries like that. I don't believe so. No. I, if he don't go to the Pro Bowl, I'm not blaming it on him. I'm no, no, yeah, specifically yeah, on he, my man Kill, yes. my man Kill him. Yes. Block him up. <laughs> All right. Oh, Block him up, Zeke. I'm, I'm, I, listen, I love it, but I'm so tired of the, the highlight of Zeke's game being, oh, man, you see that block that he picked up, gave Dak some time? I'm like, bro, that's not what he's here for. Yeah, you got a new pass pro, but that ain't it. Hey, he just, he just, that ain't it. He competing with Dalvin Cook, Aaron Jones. We trying to get him to be the best running back, at least in the NFC. He's the highest paid lineman on our team. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Goodness, let it help uh, out, man. man. Show your players some love. Mm. Have him blocking all dog on day. Out there splitting carries. Man, that, yeah, that yeah, dude. Man. I see, man. He, he, a hell, he was a heck of a blocker, but we should mm. not be showcasing nah. his skills for blocking. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 90 mil. But we are. Yeah. And that, that's where the head coach has to get in and, and have a conversation with the uh, – with the coordinator. So, uh, just just off the top of my head, just looking at when we talked about Pro Bowl here, uh, Cooper Cup for sure. Okay, yes. okay Cooper Cup for sure. Well, I mean, 1,141 yards right now. Debo Samuel has had a really good year. Stephon Diggs. Uh, you've got, you got Devontae. That's AFC, though. Oh, that's, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you Devontae. You got Devontae. Yeah. Devontae, yep. You know, Devontae Adams has to be out there. Yeah. Um, quiet is kept. Justin Jefferson. He's balling. Has, Ain't nothing quiet about what he's doing. Yeah, he's, he, he on pace to break the record. Yeah, well, he, 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 he on another level right now. As as someone who who's has a, as a fantasy manager and had Justin Jefferson and, and seen that, okay, I mean this is some games like like the Dallas game. Like, mm-hmm. Hey man, Kirk, what you doing? No, the, um, the quietest kept is the Thielen on that squad because my man just continues to rack up touchdowns. He does. He, <laughs> he does. is a touchdown I'm machine. That red zone. He, he, he's a touchdown. Like, <laughs> right. I'm telling you, every year, every, every year, year, you already know Adam Thielen is going to catch a lot of touchdowns every year. So it, it's going to be just just looking at some, it, it's going to be tough for, for a Cowboys player to get there. Uh, Mike Evans has 10 touchdowns. Yeah, it's going to be hard. For, I mean, it, like Mike Evans got 10. <laughs> I mean, Thielen it, has eight. <laughs> DK, DK Metcalf has eight touchdowns. D Hop, who's only played in eight games, has seven touchdowns. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wrap. So to answer your question, yeah. yeah. Defensively, I think only uh, probably Parsons and Diggs. Yeah, so maybe when you start talking about alternates, yeah, they might, somebody might slide in you there. You might be able to get in that way or but, something like that. But, but. Um, you yeah, know, right now, if you're if you're getting three, you're writing down three names right now. Is it, the, there's not a cowboy player that you'd put in that list? Mm. And yeah, receiver wise, no. Yeah, it, it's too tough right now when you're just kind of looking at what what you're seeing right here. But we know Zach Martin to be there. Yeah, Zach will be there. <laughs> Probably T. Smith. <laughs> T. Smith. Zach Dak. T. Smith be there, he can stay healthy. Yeah, but he, I love he when he's healthy. If he's, if he's not healthy, he then it's, healthy just, it's just a thing. But as long as he's healthy, yeah. he, he he plays well. Dak so. will be in there. Parsons, Diggs. Maybe Randy Gregory if he comes back balling. Dak keep dropping these games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you say what you want about it. Listen, it's some, it's some quarterbacks in the NFC. That, that'll yeah. make it hard Stafford for you to get in yeah. there. Stafford, Tom Brady is like usually look, a shoe in. Stafford, Stafford's had some boo boos. Yeah. I mean, along the way, right now, all of them have had some games where you just say, eh. But I still go back into this for Dak Prescott. You play enough games in national TV. And you win some, you win those games. That's going to be a swing. Fact. Let them ball out on the Thanksgiving. It's gonna, people are gonna forget all about it. Okay, oh, that's man. cool. He's Tom back Brady. in the MVP just race. Know that, that, just know that Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers are going to be sitting there oh, yeah. all the time, yeah. <laughs> Take, taking votes away from my man Dak. Mm. All right, so I, I just want him to get back on track and consistently be that guy because we know we know he's that guy. Yeah. Well, we just I don't like and, to see those games. And, <laughs> and look. At this point in time, when we're, as we're looking at these players, someone's one of them is going to be in the. You know, we look at the top six guys right now. One's going to be in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So that, that's going to lead to a spot being open, being open, true. being open there. But you know, we'll see. Let's see. Uh, Aaron Rodgers talked about having a little foot issue. Let's see where he goes. They just got beat by Minnesota. Here. There's, a, there's a lot of football to be left here. All right, we got to get out of here. Barry Church, Danny McCray, make sure you're watching Survivor tonight. Mm-hmm. Real quick, give me your person to get voted off. I think this is uh, not Shan, but the, but the other one. What's, I keep forgetting her name. What's the other one? Liana. 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 I think this is her time to arrive. I think this is on her way out. Okay, I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for Shan to get got tonight here on Survivor. So make sure you check it out seven o'clock on CBS. That's Danny McRae, the ultimate Survivor, the Toledo Rocket Berry Church of mm-hmm. Newey Scruggs. Enjoy the Thanksgiving Day game. Have a safe holiday, everybody. We'll talk to you Monday. 
This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!